Previously on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. <laughs> Look at that little forensics guy crouched over there. I'm gonna go over there and slap him right in the booty. And now back to wagging my little finger. Hello! The Sneaky Bee. Back with some more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. We last left off, we progressed further in the uh, Edgeworth Daddy case, and we faced off against Von Karma at least just a little bit. And we also met the Jet Puff Marshmallow Lady, Delicia it was just a little ball of totally clueless. <laughs> so yes, now we wouldn't enter, I believe it was the victims, right? The victims banquet room or whatever, where he uh, show off his desserts. And we found everything was totally gone. <laughs> Maybe Delicia ate it all. Damn it, Delicia. Oh, sorry, you know, it's just, I just have that sweet tooth, you know? There was 80 pounds of chocolate in here, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys clarified that uh, that utensil that she had was, uh, um, it was a mortar and pestle, which is what I thought, but I only knew about it being used for medicine. I never had seen it being used for, uh, for cooking, too. Although I suppose, I mean, <laughs> it's something that crushes something else, so I suppose it could be used either way, but. Anyway, the inherited turnabout, middle part one. Let's get started. God dang, there's a lot of, there's a lot of parts to these, uh, these cases. It's all right with me, as long as they're not like two or three hours long. Nico's voice thanks you for that. April 2nd, 10, 10, 15 a.m., Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Looks like we're back to the fucking present. <laughs> this this story is getting boring, Ray. Hurry up, get to the fucking point. Am I literally over here just telling him word for word exactly what happened? <laughs> Did I forget to mention I have a photographic memory? Oops, uh, I guess I went on a little for a little too long there. <laughs> Did you have to include the fact that you sung every one of those songs? <laughs> Something like that happened. Then <laughs> all that detail. I had no idea. None of the case files I read went to such detail. <laughs> oh my god, I guess he did. Oh yeah, we, we've been standing here for eight hours. <laughs> well, I doubt there would be anything in there that would be convenient for the prosecution, especially with Von Karma at the head. How did the investigation go from there? The desserts had disappeared from the victim's room, so the, the investigation hit a rough patch. Thanks to thanks to, to that, it took a whole year before a verdict was handed down. One whole year? Oh shit, really? Wow, that sounds like the US court system. Which is where we totally are right now. This was before the, the whole three-day pre-trial system was established. Trials didn't need to finish in the short amount of time that, that they do now. <laughs> ah, okay, so that, that, that was something that was not that way in the past in these games. Hmm, I see. Did they ever find out why the victim's desserts disappeared? Well, kinda. His dessert was like a candy ice sculpture made from sherbet. Wow. Since it was made from ice, the general consensus was that it had melted. However, that might not quite be the case. What do you mean? This museum used to be Mr. Master's mansion. The stage of the IS-7 incident. And in this very place, they're exhibiting the, Sh the Sherbert Salon from 18 years ago. The victim's dessert? Yep, though it could just be a replica of the original. That's why Uncle Ray had to come here today to check it out. And for your old man, too. Now then, let's get a move. Move on and check out the room. I'm pretty sure it's over in the Winter Palace. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So we're, okay. <laughs> Does that mean we're just done then with the past? Hmm, Winter Palace should be... I swear to God, if I walk in there and it's gone again. Huh, it's locked up. That's odd. They've already opened the museum. Mr. Shields, according to the pamphlet we received at the entrance, the Winter Palace is over here. Oops, sorry, I was getting my timelines mixed up. Really? I could have sworn it was this one. All right, let's scoop. We gotta confirm the truth of what happened 18 years ago. I'm so confused, so this is, uh... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Look who it is, guys. Oh, and Nico already gave the rod to life voice to somebody else. Fuck me. You knew it, didn't you, fucking Ed Edgeworth Investigations 2? You fucking knew this would happen. God damn it. They played it this whole time. I, I can't fucking believe that. Really? Uh, I see he's still with his, his way out of his league wife or... Was it, was it his wife or was it just his girlfriend? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What are you two doing here? April 2nd, 10 to 20 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery, Winter Palace. They're probably coming to fucking steal something. Get out of my head, Gumshoe. 
Man, it's still cold as ever. Uncle Ray's gonna freeze solid. Seems the Winter Palace lives up to his name. It's like a freezer in here. With the light dimmed like this, almost as if the room itself is made of ice. Am I gonna remember? I, no, I don't think I had anything to do with those cases, did I? <laughs> God dang it. Why is Feast to have all the fun? All these cameos, and I don't even fucking realize it. I think the control panel for the room temperature is on the back wall. Yeah, I, that, I, I'll look at that later. No, you, I see you, Ron. Miles, why don't you check what the temperature is set at for me? Uncle Ray's gonna give the curator a piece of his mind later. It's way too cold in here. Huh, very well. <laughs> You're the one who thought like 69 or something was freezing. <laughs> In the, in the flashback, 69 degrees Fahrenheit. That is not that fucking cold. Not even, hell, 59's not even that cold. I, was it, it was 59 or 69. Neither, which are that cold. But if you wanna look around the, the room a bit, feel free to stay or freeze to your heart's content. I'll get the camera ready. I wanna take some pictures of this place and, sh and show it to your old man. What? I, I'm, I've been really confused about this. We've been, we, I feel like we've been keep, ma we kept making these references like his dad is still alive. What do you mean you want to show his old man? He went to his grave, want to show it there? You got anything to say about this? No, dumb fuck, I'm still dead. Understood. Wait, why do I understand that? My dad is dead, right? I, I I'm so confused, I don't understand. Miles, since we came all the way here, why don't you take a look? No, I'm running away. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know if I'm just being really stupid about something or if they're if this is intentionally meant to like make us be like, what's going on? <laughs> the room is so cold, I thought I'd go to a warmer room. If you're that cold, why don't you borrow my clothes? <laughs> what? <laughs> In exchange, I'll borrow your jacket. <laughs> no thanks. Let's try enduring this for just a little longer. No no one that touches my velvet coat! Nobody! Oh my god. Are you just here for funsies, or are you guys actually gonna have a, an important role in this? Oh, well, we're not seeing any face portraits yet. Well, how about this? Oh, yeah, Lord. Master Mask is here. Yes, it's me. I'm Master Mask. <laughs> good, good. Wait, wait, Ron. Wait, Ronnie. Oh, wait. I gave her the I gave her the Yoshino voice. That's right. Say that, you'll get arrested. Come on, you don't. We don't play it properly. We won't be able to sell. What are these two talking about? <laughs> No, this is, I feel like they gotta have something to do with this. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Shields, I can't find the temperature control panel. Help me. All right, they keep it where, they keep it where it's hard to find. Just one moment. Hmm. Huh? It, it, it's locked. Makes sense, they wouldn't want the guests changing the temperature themselves. According to the pamphlet, the Winter Palace has a temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now that is cold. <laughs> now that is, now that is cold. Uncle Ray is gonna freeze to death. Guess I'll need to find someone to share my body heat with. <laughs> Come here, Edgeworth. No, stop with the slightly sexual sounding things you're telling me. Give me your clothes, your body warmth. Stop making me attracted to you. Preferably a beautiful lady. Although Uncle Ray rolls both ways. <laughs> Oh, are you trying to freeze me to death as well with those cold eyes? <laughs> of course not. Ah! My burning love is only for Phoenix. Are you a cameo too? I, I feel like you look familiar. It's a boy with a school bag. Did he come to the art gallery by himself? Hmm. She even quit her job in order to run this museum. I don't really get it. Perhaps one of his parents knows the curator. Ah, uh, okay. What do I do then? Miles, what the fuck are you doing? I bear, come on, I'm just trying to cross the way. Where's the fucking hitbox for this thing? It's gonna seem really weird if we just ended the flashback there, you know, because some of you guys said it, it was the reason that uh, Von Karma actually went and killed Gregory was because of this trial. It was so long ago, I just don't, I don't remember all the details about it. Uh, oh, here we go, let's just look at this. Isaac Dover's body was discovered inside a chocolate chest made by Jeffrey Master. The death was due to the blunt trauma to the head given by a rock salt lamp. Blood was shed. The defendant, Mr. Masters, was found found guilty of murder and is now currently serving jail time. Okay, well, there you go. So, yep, Von Karma ended up winning in the end, but I'm guessing it's, it's because his dad died, right? So they probably had to find a new def uh, defense attorney. Art gallery pamphlet. Oh, uh, it's just a map. Oh, wait, there's another page. Associated temperatures, seasons, and constellations. What in the fucking dicks is that? Looks like, a, like some weird RPG puzzle. 
Um, so am I looking at these things or? There are two sculptures displayed here. These sculptures are replicas of the desserts that vanished 18 years ago. How do they, do they just have a picture of it or something? Impressive, huh? These sculptures made of ice. Yes, or maybe as a protege or something. My father never got to see these ice sculptures. And now, 18 years later, I'm standing before them. Miles, sorry to bother you while you're deep in thought. Could you turn this way a little? Uh, like this? Yes, yes, like that. Oh, let's get to take a picture of him. <laughs> hey, Mr. Shields, you're not. <laughs> Say cheese. Oh, no, I look horrible. I don't have my face on today. Mr. Shields, please don't take pictures of me. <laughs> it's just the look on Edward's face. It's like, ah, oh. <laughs> sorry, my bad. I just wanted to make sure the camera works okay. That camera is quite old. Yeah, well, that's because it's an old-fashioned camera. Oh yeah, one of those. You know, an instant camera. It automatically develops the photos after shooting. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, I know. What do you think I am? Oh, an old man like my father? Oh, I've never used one. <laughs> You're quite the know-it-all. You really are the old man's son. Er, could you move a bit? I want to take some more photos of the room. He's just taking pictures of me, damn it. His face is sticking on an unusually serious expression. He's probably thinking about the IS-7 incident. So many years ago. Man, I stepped a bunch and, and see they're already developed. <laughs> he shoved them in my face before I could reply. Ah! Well, I have one more question to you, Mr. Know-It-All. Do you know what these two sculptures represent? They're sculptures of Taurus and Gemini from the Winter Constellations. Oh, bingo. Not bad, Miles. That's probably why they call this room the Winter Palace. Uncle Ray is feeling generous today, so I'll give you a copy of this photo, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. Get in my pocket. Useless photo? Are these rep replicas of the Constellation desserts that were made 18 years ago? I'm a little confused, honestly, what, what we're... I don't know what we're doing. We heard about this when we figured it had to be connected to the case somehow, and now we're just trying to figure that out. And I guess, are we trying to maybe exonerate the guy who's in jail? Like, overturn that decision? I don't know, I just... <laughs> I, I can't tell if the game's intentionally, like, making it vaguer, if I'm just missing something. Yeah, it looks like these two sculptures are also made of sherbet. Uncle Ray's only seen the real sculptures and photos. But these sculptures look like the real deal. This is what you wanted to show me. Yeah, I think your old man would have wanted you to see it as well. I'm sorry, Uncle Ray didn't have the courage to come here alone. <laughs> Don't apologize, you big fucking pussy. This is a good opportunity to learn about my father's case and what a fucking badass he was. That means a lot to me. So you want me to take another co commemorative photo? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. Don't you demon dare! Okay, uh... A giant block of ice is being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. I shall try to lift it with my big finger. Ha! Ah! No, the inside must be hollow. On the surface, there is an image of stars and a written description. The Pleiades. Also known as the Seven Sisters, a star cluster that comprises a uh, part of Taurus. But for all these stars to be grouped together as a cluster, the ways of the ancient people must have been very imprecise. Oh. Alrighty, now that I've got some pictures of the room, let's check out the other palaces. Might as well see them all, since we're already here. I suppose you're right. Alright, well, bye Ron Delight, we'll uh, have fun stealing that thing. Uh, <laughs> ah! That yelled us now! It came from the fountain patio, let's go Miles. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, fuck! Hey, fuck! No! Fuck! Ah, why? Why? Every fucking game! Maybe that was the real reason why I loved Apollo Justice so much, because Larry didn't fucking appear! God damn it! Ah! Oh my god, did I accidentally kill somebody again? 
<laughs> I'm so sick of you, Larry. Edward's like, no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done with this guy. Curb stop. Boom. I hope they, they hacked the game and just added that scene in there. Oh my God. It would be so fucking beautiful. Speaking of which, I, I think there might be a slight uh, graphical glitch to the, le the bottom left there where the message box is. Looks like the fountain's bouncing up and down. Unless it's supposed to do that. April 2nd, 10.30 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery Fountain Patio. Watch it turn up. That's actually not him. It's just some dude. The sword looks like him. There's someone passed out on the floor. And that man there is. No, it, it, it's... Why, dude? Oh, no way, dude. I totally burned so much. Larry, Larry, what are you doing in my fucking sequel? I don't know, dude. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. What exactly happened here? Uh, looks like you had to save me again. <laughs> Gee, what are the odds of this happening? Apparently really good. I, I saw something that no one should ever have to see again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I really like, I know I sound hysterical and ridiculous, but I'm really fucking sick of Larry, okay? I just, I can't. Fucking stand him anymore! Larry, calm down. Why is there someone passed out there? I didn't do anything. He just fell down and it was all of a sudden. Uh, this man, he, he can't be. It's some dirty old dude. Oh, uh oh, no, it's the, it's the, uh, the samurai guy from before. He's an old man now. He's fucking dead. Damn it, Larry. Oh, there's the, and there's the lady. Oh, and there's the other lady. <laughs> Whoa, ah, ah, my brain can't keep up with it all. I, everybody's here, okay. You're gonna be the fucking killer though, I know it. Not to you, Delicia, the, the other chick, Kat, Kat, Katarina or whatever her name was. Excuse me, but what is the matter here? Oh, you can't raise such a ruckus in the museum, boys. Ah. Hmm, this scent is, hmm. <laughs> it smells like the butts. <laughs> Seems like he's still breathing, but this is a bad situation. Miles, it's not safe here. Get everyone out of here. Everyone, get away from that room right now. Everyone, hop over my back. Now, go, go, Edgeworth Rocket Skates. Boom. There's poison gas coming out from it. Oh, shit. Seriously? April 2nd, 10.42 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery. Fountain patio. Unfortunately, Larry died in that horrible gas room. Hmm. Ah. Uh, no, wait. No, he's still alive. <laughs> Sup, dude? I'm in another pants again, Edgeworth! Yes, I can see that, Larry. Mr. Shields, how's the victim? It looks like he breathed in a little too much of the poison gas. He's still unconscious. According to the doctor in the ambulance, there are no external injuries or any other wounds. Thanks to our fortunate time, we were able to save him before he was too, too far gone. But he's not out of the woods yet. He's currently being treated by a specialist in the infirmary. I see. Mr. Shields, is he, is he an acquaintance of yours? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm guessing that Ron Delight there was, it was kind of like how uh, Lotta Hart, she showed up in the first Edgeworth game too, but she wasn't actually a main character. We just like saw her, I guess for shits and giggles. And betting, so like Ron Delight was planning to steal it, but he probably didn't get a chance to because of this. Yeah, you could say that. He's Dane Gustavia. He was involved in the IS-7 incident. The pastry chef. So he was involved in the case 18 years ago. At least the other guy is doing all right. Is he a friend of yours, Miles? Uh, yes, you can say that. He shows up in every fucking game. It's for it is fortunate you are not hurt, Larry. Uh, once you can say that's supposed to be an edgy, we are the bestest of best friends. Uh, how long are you gonna pretend to be that fucking artist anyway? I thought I figured out yours was gonna change like each game, but you've been that artist for three games now. Actually, you were the sa Steel Samurai in the last game. Did you show up twice? No, that was Old Bag. Old Bag showed up twice. And you showed up once. How can you treat a child in a friend like that? That's just cruel, dude. Oh God, I'm doing the weird face. I'm doing the weird face. And also when I'm dressed like this, I'm called Larry Studum, you know? So don't call me Larry, I'm Lisa Larry's. Fuck you. This, I, I'm not, no, you know what? I don't need to introduce him. You all know who this asshole is. This man is Larry fucking Butts. He's like my trouble, he's, but he's been one of my friends since grade school. Oh yeah, dude! Thumbs up, dude! Some time ago, he awakened to the calling of art and assumed the alias Loris Dunham. I really thought that would be something he would, would have thrown aside by this point, but nope, he's just gonna stick with it, I guess. Pretty sure it's the longest commitment Larry's ever made to something. But a butts by any other name would smell just as much. Smell like asshole! Really? You two are childhood friends. I better report that to your old man, too. 
What? I'm, I mean, I, I feel like the only thing he can mean is go to his grave. Is It just seems strange that he, but he, he's really making it sound like he's still alive and that he has to get these pictures for his father. So I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like this just got me to his grave, but it just seems sort of, I feel, I can understand to a point, but like having to bring stuff to, to show him, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I mean, we all handle loss in our own ways, so maybe this is just Ray, Ray's way of handling it. I'm sure it will bring him joy. He was always worried about you not being able to make friends. Good for you, Angie. Aren't you glad to have a buzzing buddy like me? My father was, was worried about something like that. <laughs> I have lots of friends. I was very cool at my age. But anyway, what are you doing in a place like this, Larry? How many times did I tell you, Angie? I'm Larry's. What? are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I talk about me when you talk. So what are you gonna tell me, huh? Isn't it obvious, dude? I never, I never straight up tell you anything, right? You gotta break it out of me. I know, I know. I've come to study, here to study art. I'm gonna take Mandy on a date here. So I was just doing some scouting beforehand. Aren't you just using art as an excuse to go on a date? Not bad, Larice. Maybe you can introduce some pretty girls to me next time. Oh, God, no, Ray. No. No. You want to be framed for murder? Then, then go right ahead. Oh, now you're talking my language, dude. I think I'm getting a headache. I think I died a little, a little bit more every time I see Larry. By the way, Larice, did you notice anything strange when you found the victim? Nah, not really, dude. Just my weird face. That's it. Nothing that would make you say I saw something that no one should ever have to see. Oh, yeah, that. I was just surprised when I saw that old dude fall down out of nowhere like that. I didn't do anything this time for once. Is that anything to brag about? <laughs> and you're full of shit. Okay, okay. So she's back. So what am I going to give her? Not, <laughs> not the French thing. I, I don't know, I think I need to, I just need to practice with the French voice, you know? I, I feel like the German accent was a bit the same way for me. It took me a little while to kind of get it. But that time is not now. So, uh, something I said kind of a posh voice. My posh voice has always usually been my British voice, so. Visitors, we wish to deeply apologize for the disturbance. Yeah, that sounds, I think that kind of works. I am the curator of this museum. My name is Catherine Hall. It's also one of the, the people involved in the IS-7 incident. Hello there, Miss Katie. Or Miss Kate. Oh, hey! Wow, look at you! You got turned smoking hot! Oh, yeah, let's look at this guy. Oh my, oh my god, he got an, another scar on his face! You're even more fucking badass! Oh god, Larry. And they're like, fuck it, we're not drawing another Larry face, we're gonna use the same fucking one. Mocha Shields, thank you for your continued assistance. She was the woman we saw at the reception, so she's the curator here. We apologize for the inconvenience, especially since it's the opening day. No, no, you don't have to apologize for a thing, Miss Kate. Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Let me introduce you to someone. This is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory Edgeworth's son. Oh, Monsieur Edgeworth. Hmm. You look more like a senorita, honestly. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, ah, oh, that's right, I forgot she sings too. I need the soon after 18. It is an honor to meet you, defense attorney, Miles Ever. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That was amazing. You still got that golden voice, Miss Kate. <laughs> eh, I thought it was all right. Actually, I'm a prosecutor. Oh, so you are a prosecutor. My most sincere apologies, Monsieur Edgeworth. But no, no, fucking say it again! Damn it, it's been ingrained into my being. Miss Shore, Miss Shore, Monsieur, Monsieur. Oh, so you know when you guys said that uh, the French accents, they tend to sort of like, like the final syllable is very short and abrupt and cut off. So, like that, like Monsieur. But, okay, god damn it. I remember you guys who were like French picky penguin soup. So I were like, like just cringing out of their mind. I could totally understand that. It's like more painful than watching someone brutally butcher your, your native language. This woman is very polite, but slightly odd. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love Edgeworth. Oh, uh, Katie. Oh, uh, could you get your? Can I get your autograph here, pretty please? Please. Sign it. I love you, Larry, and I want to go on a date with you. Yes, if you so desire. 
What do you want? Why do you want her autograph? Hey, don't tell me! You know who she is? My, my, you really don't keep up with the ent entertainment news, do you, Miles? No, I was busy be being a good student and reading books. I never watch TV shows. <laughs> what? What is this unbearable atmosphere? God damn it! <laughs> I hate all of you! She's a superstar actress who's been in tons of musicals and movies. She's a great singer, too. Mm-hmm. Like I'm the curator of this museum. I have already retired from the stage. I finished filming my role for my, la my last movie a few days ago. My co-stars also said that they would have come here once I opened the doors. And here you are, Monsieur Artiste. I return this to you. Thanks so much, Katie. I love you so fucking much. Please go out the old treasure for the rest of my short life. Yeah, you're probably gonna be. That'd be funny if, like, at some point, just like in like the future, like in the, the Apollo games or whatever, like they go to like a cemetery and they just find Larry's grave there. Larry killed by Edgeworth because he had enough of his shit. Well, well, looks like me, me and Larry share the same interests. No. So I gather. <laughs> Larry, you said you're here to study art. Why do you practice drawing as well? Since you're here at Miss Hall's Art Museum. Oh, it would be an honor to have Monsieur Artiste sketch our exhibits. Oh, I guess even you have some good ideas every now and then, Edgy. Yeah, fuck you too. I'll do Miss Sketching for Katie here. I'll sketch you like one of my one of my ex-girlfriends. He <laughs> what an amusing person. Forget the disturbance. No, he's not amusing. He's Larry. Incidentally, who was the woman that was with you earlier? That was Madame Delicia Scones. She is currently assisting in treatment of Monsieur Gustav Gustavia in the infirmary. Even though I had said infirmary, since this is an art museum now, it is only provisional. As I am the only staff member working here, I cannot take a leave of my duties to for too long. Delicia Scones, I believe we have heard that name before, Mr. Shields. Yep, looks like the whole gang from the I-7 incident is here. Well, I, I doubt that's a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Monsieur Seals, Monsieur Edgeworth, would you care for some hot tea? Oh, Miss Kate's tea, that brings me back. Yes, if you please. Yes, of course I do. You think I'm not posh as well? Clatter, clatter, clatter. All right, I just peed in that cup. Now I must take my leave. I must explain the situation to the other visitors. All right, thanks for everything. You're totally gonna be the killer. Bye-bye. Smells like Ceylon tea. I should drink it before it cools. Oh, this Ceylon tea is very, very high quality. And this aroma of citrus, mmm. Does wonders for your concentration, right? <laughs> ah. Your old man said the exact same thing 18 years ago. Oh my god! Ah! But the saucers back then were chill. Today they're warm. Hmm. Uh, anyway! Don't you think this current situation is rather unusual? You mean how everyone involved in the case 18 years ago is gathered at this museum? Yes, I would like to be in charge of this case, if at all possible. I swear to god, if female Mark Karma shows up at some point. Uh, Mr. Edwards, sir, are you okay? Where, where the fuck have you two been? We went through a whole fucking flashback case without you. Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Shields, I came here as fast as I could when I heard that you were done, done in by the poison gas. <laughs> I'm fucking fine. Oh, my sweet honey Kay. How about a hug after being parted for so long? <laughs> no! <laughs> no one ever takes me up on that offer, except for that weird dog lady. And I could have done without that, honestly. Jeez, you're so perfect, so you're perfectly fine. I can't believe you made us worry so much. That a gumshoe. What's the meaning of bringing Kay here? I I'm sorry, sir. I knew the gas was dangerous, so I tried to stop her. She's a fucking ninja, though. I'm a thief. Get it right, gummy. But no matter how much I ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran, and ran I couldn't stay the ground. When it comes to running off, running away, no one is faster than Yadagrasu. But you weren't running away from here. <laughs> Mr. Edwards, I'm all set, sir. Hopefully this one doesn't have a hole in it like the last one. Oh, well. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Start investigating the crime scene. Since there might still be traces of the gas in the room, I'll, I'll ask everyone here. Everyone to wait here. Very well, I'm counting on you. Ah, don't die on me, you mildly helpful person. Good luck in there, Flatfoot. 
Is this one of my one of my things? What am I like my my treasures or whatever? The seven treasures of Gumshoe. Wow, Gummy's so cool. He's just like a detective. <laughs> but that's <laughs> but that's what he is. He, no, <laughs> he's not like it. He is a detective. Sir, I appear to be dying in here. Yes, Edworth here. <laughs> Mr. Edworth! Looks like the poison gas dissipated, sir. <laughs> oh wait, no it didn't. <laughs> I don't even fear that out anyway. I had to take the <laughs> help the mask off. I tell you, I calmly explain the state of the auto the autumn pa autumn palace. Yes, sir, I'll start with the the exhibits. On the left there's a statue with two people. Now on the right, there's a statue of an animal with two horns! It's fucking Taurus! A statue of two people and a statue of an animal with horns. Is that the exact same thing I saw in the Winter Palace just a while ago? Also, the room is wet with water thanks to this regular system. I also, they, that also burned the gas from harboring anyone else. The sprinkler system, was there a fire in the room? There are no signs of a fire and the fire alarm hasn't gone off either, sir. The sprinklers in this museum are the kind that takes both smoke and fire. If it detects smoke, it will send an alert to the security security room. Yeah, I also work at the security room too. <laughs> God damn it! You were, is there any a job you don't have? I think the poison gas might set off the alarm in the, the security room, sir. Oh, and I'm here too. Oh, oh and you, I've been with you so much. No, fuck it! Don't give a shit. Ah! Was there anyone in the security room at the time? The only working here is the curator, Miss Ka Catherine Hall, sir. Thank God. She's been in the reception booth opposite the security room ever since the museum opened. The Mr. Hall turned on the sprinklers. The sprinkler system can only be operated manually from the security room, sir. If it had been automatic, it would have sprayed, sprayed water all over the exhibits. Since the system is manual, the, the situation can be examined and the exhibits moved if, if, if need be. I guess there would be more priority over the exhibits than in the building, only at a museum. More like the preference over the exhibits over people's fucking lives. <laughs> oh my god, I'm burning alive! Wait, wait, we have to move the exhibits first. Oh my god, hurry up! It's way too cold in this room, sir. Isn't this supposed to be the Autumn Palace? It's more like dead of winter here. The Autumn Palace is cold. I checked the thermostat earlier and it was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Couldn't believe that. I'm freezing my balls off, sir. Why would the Autumn Palace be set at the same temperature as the Winter Palace? <laughs> I'm confused. That's all about all I know for now, sir. I figure out anything else, I'll give you another call. I see I'm counting on you, detective. Dead of Gumshoe called to tell us he's dead. April 2nd, 11.15 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery found patio. Just because I'm in the other room, I can still read the green text, though. What did Gummy say? He said it feels more like winter in the Autumn Palace. I, I don't get it. I haven't been able to enter the room personally but it should be possible to look inside after the police have, have finished the investigation. Hmm, I'd like to know what it's like in there myself. Is there anyone else who knows about the incident? Ah, uh, there is someone, My Miles' friend, right? <laughs> friend? Oh, uh, goddamn, yeah, you remember him, right? You, you were here. Though he's such a nuisance, we have no choice but to listen to what, what he has to say for now. I think, right? Uh, he de yeah, he was, cause she, he was a stealth samurai in the last game. Wait, you mean? Yeah, yeah, he's back again. Oh, here, 2K! You're looking as cute as ever! Uh, long time no see. It's Larry, isn't it? <laughs> okay, right now my name is Larice. <laughs> I'm an artist, that's why. Ah, uh, so that's your pen name, Larice, the artist formerly known as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm just like Prince, man! No, you're nothing like Prince. Wow, you really are a good girl, okay? Nothing like Edgy here. <laughs> yeah, I hate you too. Larry, I have many things I need to ask you. Many, many things. What's this? Don't tell me you suspect me again. You're gonna say because I was first on the scene? I must be the culprit, are you? I never said anything like that. No, you're never the culprit, but you still know shit. Ah, uh, I only want you to tell me what you saw. And I swear to God, if you see another lady flying over a bridge, I'm gonna rip your face off. You said you saw something that no one should ever have to see, did you not? What? <laughs> now I'm saying I didn't see nothing. I didn't do nothing. Probably. Oh my, you didn't seem so confident at the end there. <laughs> There's somewhat, these are somewhat troublesome circumstances surrounding this man. 
The saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts, still holds true 26 years on. 26 years! One could say his tendency to attract trouble is legendary. Seems he's done, done something troublesome without even realizing it himself. Larry, why? Why Why can't you never just tell me this shit? It's not like anything ever happens to you. You continue to go on about your life fucking up anyway. I also have to try and extract the truth from him. Like seriously, do we, like, he's fucked up so many crime scenes. How is he not in jail? Or at least, I, I don't know, broke from all the fines he paid. Oh, here we go, I'm gonna logic chess you. Whoa, this is new, dude. Yes, my new gameplay mechanic. My goal is to expose whatever Larry's hiding. However, I didn't see nothing, I didn't do nothing. Larry's an extremely restless and troublesome man. Until he cools down, I'll just wait and see. First, I'll ask him about his goal. This isn't something I can't, I can't handle. I'll finish this quickly. Why did you come here? What was your purpose for coming to the art gallery? Are you saying I'm blowing in the art gallery, dude? Get out of my here! Mmm. Edgeworth watches and waits. Hey, I'm not gonna talk. Hold that post, take a picture portrait. And then I'll scribble all over the portrait I drew of you. Wait and see. Your paintings are all scribbles. I was just joking. I would never scribble over my paintings. Of, of course. The works are art after all. I don't think any of your works would qualify as art. Tell it to me. There are people who recognize my skill as an artist. <laughs> Those people are blind. Ah, uh, just gonna let him, let it all out. Penny's my girlfriend, but it's it's really my paintings she she fell in love with. That's why I'll sketch anything my girlfriend likes. Then why are you here on your own today? So what? Can a guy with a girlfriend spend some time alone? Go spend time with her now. <laughs> just gonna keep on waiting. Penny says she's a Gemini. I thought she'd be happy if I showed her a sketch of it on her next date. Do you really have that much confidence in the sketch? Well, I'm not so confident about this this one. But I thought she would be happy if I did a sketch of her astrological sign. You came here, you came to see the Gemini sculpture, huh? I see. That's just like you. To impress Mandy, you came here to to see the Gemini sculpture, didn't you? Ah! Oh, dude, you blew my pot up. What? How'd, how'd you find out? Because you just unknowingly told me everything, you dumb fuck. Hell then, I'm not saying another word from now on. Yeah, right. He's finally decided to remain silent. In that case, I'll be more relentless in my questioning. I'll try to find out what he was doing here at the art gallery, but first, heal Edgeworth. Hmm. I'll expose his true motives. This shouldn't take long. What did you do at the fucking art gallery? You just, just what did you do in this art gallery? What's with that glare? I don't really remember anything. I have a pamphlet, so I just loitered around the fountain patio. Forgot to get a pamphlet. Don't they give you a pamphlet at the, re at the reception booth after you pay the admission fee? Boom! Huh? Oh, is that right? So the admission wasn't free, huh? <laughs> you didn't pay. Don't tell me you sneaked. You sneaked in here without paying. I think it's snuck though, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do anything bad. I think it might be the first like uh, error, or grammatical error I found in the game. It snuck, right? I didn't mean to do anything bad. It's just, there was no one at the reception booth. That's why I thought you could come in here for, for, for free. Okay, I, I decided to look it up because I was curious and uh, it's actually, it originally sneaked was the original conjugation and now it's, Snuck has become sort of the more accepted one, but uh, kind of I don't think there's really a writer. It's another one of those instances like, oh, tomato, tomato, right? Miss Hall wasn't at, at the reception booth. Boom! Yeah, it didn't look like there was anyone on the other side of the desk. Come to think of it, Gumshoe did say something about about that. Miss Hall was busy activating the, the sprinklers from the security room. Because of the incident, she had to leave the reception booth. Poor Katie, she was all that trouble just to open, to open up the place. And now the Art Gallery star attraction, the Winter Palace is completely ruined. You know about the Winter Palace. You're, you're certainly well informed about the Winter Palace for someone without a pamphlet. The Winter Palace is where your goal, the Gemini sculpture is located. 
You had your sights set on the winner, pals, from the be the beginning, didn't you, Larry? Ah! <laughs> what? How did you find me out again? That's right. My goal was to see the Gemini sculpture. From the very beginning, the Winter Palace was the very reason why I came here. God damn. Larry, your fucking voice is killing me today for some reason. The putz is finally getting to you, Nico. He confessed quite easily. I, you can never tell anything from, about this with this man. Next, I'll ask for further information regarding the Winter Palace. All right. You may still have some fight left in him. I'll watch the reactions and extract the information I need. Okay, did you enter the Winter Palace? Larry, did you also enter the Winter Palace? What? What's with that look of distrust? Sure, I tried going in, but... You tried going in, but you weren't actually able to, to right? Yeah, that's about, that's about right. I wanted to go in, but then that old geezer collapsed. I was a little, a little freaked out. So you couldn't get in because the victim of, of the poison gas collapsed. Yeah, he fell right out of the Winter Palace. Hmm, I'm sure the victim emerged from the, uh, the Autumn Palace. If it weren't for that poison gas incident, I'd be in there sketching the Gemini sculpture right now. Larry was mistaken the Autumn Palace for the, the Winter Palace. That aside, it seems his goal was to sketch the sculpture. Ha, it should be a useful clue. All right. What did you see in the Winter Palace? Larry, did you see anything in the Winter Palace? You're still hung up on that? Didn't I say that I didn't see anything? I started to think that it wasn't such a good idea to come to the, the art gallery. I need to leave soon to be with my girlfriend. Perhaps I should try using that clue. What about your sketch? You came here to sketch the sculpture for your girlfriend, did you not? I don't think you would give up that easily. Even after the victim collapsed, you could still see inside the room from the outside, right? Yeah! Well, I, I may have gotten a tiny glimpse, but there's no evidence that I saw something scary in there, right? You saw something scary? Oh! You have fallen right into my trap! My, my, I'm disappointed it turned out to be this simple. Ah, Larry, you saw something scary in the crime scene, didn't you? Ah, boom! <laughs> hey, GQ, can you read my mind, dude? In that case, there's no point in keeping any more secrets from you. Ha, ah, yes, I become a mind reader, sure. You just told me everything of your own accord. That was a complete waste of time, but finally, it's checkmate, bitch. In your face! Flawless victory! Have my eyes fixed on the Gemini sculpture? Objection. Objection! You mentioned the Gemini sculpture many times now, but I don't believe the sculpture you saw was the Gemini one. What? What? Was it a mirage then? Ugh. God, my voice is dying from Larry today. Larry mistakenly thought he saw the Winter Palace. This view of the evidence shows what Larry really saw. Uh. Oh, right here. Take a look at this pamphlet. In the Autumn Palace, the Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, and Aqu Aquarius sculptures are displayed. Incidentally, I can confirm that the Gemini sculpture is located in the Winter Palace. Therefore, hitherto verily so, the sculpture you saw could not have been the Gemini one. I knew it. Uh, hmm. Expecting to be a bit more shocked at the news. I thought it was... God damn. I thought it was kind of strange. I know I saw a single goddess. And that trans transformation was no barrage. Transformation? You, you saw. Oh, you curious too, Edgy? Well, nothing for it. For it, guess, guess I'll have to show you. Show me? What What exactly? I drew a picture of the very scene I saw back then. But I really can't believe what I drew. Picture? What picture? This one right here. Oh, God damn it, you drew something else. What the hell? It's another person flying over a bridge, Edgeworth. God damn it. Uh, what? What is this disturbing picture? Oh my God. Is that the stigmata? What the hell? Is that sculpture weeping tears of blood? Maurice, this picture's scary. It's a fucking miracle. Or, or a nightmare, you know, one or the other. Okay, it's scary too, dude. This, 
Did you see my sculpture suddenly transformed to a goddess right before my eyes? I couldn't help but scream, dude. I was like, Bleh. So the victim collapsing wasn't what surprised him. What do you mean when you say it transformed? I don't really understand myself. The lower half of his body just turned into a fish. A fish goddess. That would be the Pisces sculpture, wouldn't it? In mythology, Pisces represent, represents the fish that a goddess and her son transforms into. Really? So Pisces isn't just a couple of ordinary fish? Hedgy, you don't think the sculpture is cursed, do you? Those tears of blood turned the Gemini sculpture into a fish? Preposterous! That's outrageous and great as preposterous! You simply mistook the Pisces sculpture for the Gemini one. It's all your stupid fault, Larry. Oh, you put the sketch in your organizer? Huh, even a sketch like this can be used as scrap paper after all. <laughs> How could you? What? <laughs> it's fine now. But it's strange. Why did the only the lower half of the sculpture trust transform? Uncle Ray's be curious about what went on in the, uh, that autumn palette. Could it be that, I don't know, so, like, that something else was placed on top of it that had a different melting point from what was underneath it, so then it just, like, transformed into something else? Maybe? Indeed, I wonder if someone t tampered with the Pisces sculpture. Talk to me. Yes, Edworth here. Mr. Edworth, we finished searching the room. God, you don't have to yell. I'm right fucking here. Poison gas isn't a threat anymore, so you can enter the crime scene. Right, good work, detective. I've noticed like everything he says is with an exclamation point. See, we can enter the, the Autumn Palace now. Nice timing, Mr. Detective. Let's go right now. I want to see the Pisces sculpture. If Kay's going, I'm going to, dude. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's not legal yet, Larry. I don't think. Wait, is she? She's not. No, she's not. We're in Japan, though, dude. No, we're not, Larry. I was planning on bringing him along anyway. Right, let's proceed to the Autumn Palace. Oh, we're gonna go to be continued? Oh, no, we're still going. So this is the Autumn Palace. Certainly does resemble the Winter Palace. I'm waiting, sir. Uh, 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 aren't you that Harry Butts guy? <laughs> oh God, you're in this game too. Wrong. I'm Larry Stoodup, dude. Never mind that, detective. Just, just ignore him. Your report, if you please. Roger that, sir. Uh, we, we discovered a used gas burner uh, during our investigation. The nozzle was still warm. We found it, so it may be related to the incident. Okay, so, hmm, was it used to heat, heat something? I guess heat the bottom half of the statue. Was that ladder always there on the ground? Uh, it was probably used by the person who set off the, the poison gas. Poison gas was released when someone lifted the lid off that glass case, sir. Oh. Hmm. It's like a security measure. The Pi the Pisces sculpture. Ah, uh, seems like you know about know about it, sir. Well then, do you know what the, the sculpture next to it is? Because we're in the Autumn Palace, it would probably be the the Capricorn sculpture. As I Mr. expected, Mr. Edward, I thought it was Taurus myself. Yes, that's what I thought too. I was thrown off as it was covered by this weird cloth. Oh, the the, the fluorescent cloth. I wonder, wonder what it's doing here. Evidence from the IS-7 incident. Get in my pocket. Weird rainbow cloth, no matter what it is or how it got here. Oh, I saw a little uh, fluorescent uh, the light thing over to the left there. The sculptures room are all covered with this fluorescent cloth. Because they're hidden, it makes me want to see them even more. Let's take a look. I'll just get this cloth off. Now, behold! Wow, they're beautiful. And uh, yeah, to the right there, too. You don't think the transformation Larry saw was in fact the moment the cloth wrapped around the lower half of the Pis of the Pisces fell. Say, Angie, it wasn't a barrage mistake after all. Ah! Hey, Miles, there sure is something strange about this room. It looks exactly the same as the Winter Palace we were just in a moment ago. Yes, I agree. Perhaps the sculptures were hidden to make it look like the Winter Palace. If you wrap the cloth around the lower half of the Pisces sculpture, it looks like Gemini. Oh. Capricorn is half fish too. I the lower half and it resembles Taurus. Oh, okay. The remaining two, which couldn't be altered with trickery, were covered up. The Autumn Palace was made to look look like the Winter Palace. So it seems, Mr. Shields. 
Looks like we'll need, need to conduct an investigation of the Autumn Palace too. Oh, oh, damn it. The return of Tweedledee and Tweedle fuckface. Mr. Abbas and Judge Courtney. Ah, why? Why are you two here? <laughs> hey, 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 you guys again? This is a problem. You see, this is my crime scene. No, I was here first. Fuck you. Mr. Edgeworth, it seems my power is in, is in sufficient. If you're here, then it would appear that you still haven't understood my warnings. Ah! Furthermore, you know full well your reckless actions will cause trouble for the detective. Oh, come on. I helped you last time. In the name of the goddess of law, I must pass judgment. I, I don't understand. What's your deal? Why do you dislike me so much? Got all round, pal. I was the one who asked Mr. Edgeworth to investigate. Really? Well, help them fly foot. I'll have to do that. <laughs> that? Oh god, does he mean slice my my paycheck or something? Yet yeah, that, uh, uh, right, cut your salary. Yeah, there. Uh, damn it! Looking forward to your next payday. I I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> ah, you're the last person I want cutting my salary, pal! I'm okay with my car by Edgeworth. Mostly because I'm afraid of them, but you! Fuck you! I'm not afraid of you, you little pussy! Hold it in the past. I'm the only cooperating with the police a witness to this incident. That if Gumshoe is not to blame. <laughs> so that's how it is. Well then, should I be raising his salary? <laughs> no, that's not what I mean, meant. <laughs> but, Mr. Edward, why, sir? But, but it'd be really nice to get my salary raised. <laughs> Instead of making a do whole dollar every hour, I make two dollars every hour. God, I'd be rich. Your mercy is deeply moving, Sebastian. But to try past transgressions must lead to future judgment. Prosecutor Edgeworth and all his of his in his company departed once from this holy site. Ow! But that's we only just got here. The one given the goddess of law's blessing for this incident was Sebastian. In other words, Mr. Nabas is the prosecutor in char charge of this case again. <laughs> that's right, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening performance is over. Besides, I've already got my eyes set on the culprit. <laughs> what? Who, pal? Well, naturally. That artist. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and rest him. What? what the hell? What the hell, Edgy? Yeah, I'm sick of your shit. I don't want you showing up in Edgeworth Investigations 3. No, dude. M me? Hey, what's going on, Edgy? Don't ask me. I can't understand his reasoning. Tis, tis, tis. You can't understand how the best prosecutor thinks. It simply shows how inculp inculpable you are. <laughs> It seems he doesn't know what the inculpable even means. <laughs> That's right, Sebastian. Inculpable. Prosecutor Edgeworth is quite incapable. <laughs> um, yeah. He's incapable. That thing. <laughs> she just nonchalantly corrected him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate my intelligence gathering skills, okay? Don't! Don't you underestimate! I just came with from the infirmary and asked the doctor there, there about the cause of the poison gas. And what was the cause? <laughs> Larry Butt's fart. I knew it. I knew it smelled like butts in here. Uh, some normal substance. What was his name again? Uh, uh, hold on a second. I'll, I'll call Doctor make Doctor to make sure. He's not coming back, is he? <laughs> Sebastian is on the phone. I'll answer for him. In that case, why didn't you just tell us before he called? <laughs> The, spo <laughs> the poison gas was caused by the mixing of two different types of chemicals. The names are norm normalium and fatalium. <laughs> you just made that up. So what are those chemi chemicals exactly? Normalium is a red liquid that's commonly used in everyday part products. It can be found in paint and detergent, among other things, but it's not toxic by, it's by itself. Really? What other thing have we seen that's been red lately? Hmm. Hmm. Mmm, mmm, get in my pocket. So you're saying that is a substance readily available to anyone? Yes, but Fatalium, on the other hand, is not so easy to obtain. Its name sure sounds dangerous. What's it used for? It is the active ingredient of a white pesticide known as the, meg the Megatoxin X. Megatoxin. Hard, hard fucking core! Fatalium itself also has a deep white color, but not, but it's not readily stole, sold in stores. I see, so those semen stains we saw earlier was probably that. It's nearly nearly impossible to obtain domestically. Right now, we are looking into how this chemical was obtained. Mmm, yummy. Making Edgeworth thirsty. Okay, I finally found the name of those chemicals. 
Judge Courtney has, uh, has already told us. We don't need to hear it again. Uh, uh, uh f fine then. I I'll cut to the chase. You know that normalium from the poison gas is also used in paint, right? Today, out of everyone who visited the art gallery, the only one carrying paint was that artist. Hey, you treat me as the culprit just because of that, dude? Really? Oh my god. Is this this is your new your new rival of this game? Really, Edgeworth? I know, right? Ah. Uh. I object to the red paint on the palette you're carrying. Hey, Edgy! Don't you think this prosecutor is kind of an idiot? <laughs> wow! Oh! Oh, that came from fucking Larry the best! You hear that? He thinks that then oh my god, there is no saving you! Indeed, although I've only known him for a short time, his logic is always fucking batshit crazy. On a sandwich. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me. I asked you a question. Why? Why is anyone take me seriously? It's all right, Sebastian. They're only doing it because they're afraid of you. Afraid of you and your amazingly expressive a hoge. Like the first star to appear at night, showing us, show us reasoning that shines the best. <laughs> the first star shines best? Uh -huh. I like that word. Not bad. Hey, you guys better listen up, too. Ah, uh, here we go. We're gonna battle. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Mr. The Best Shining Logic. That artist is the first to discover the victim, so naturally, he's the best suspect. The poison gas was caused by normalium, a chemical found in paint, right? As he was ca carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. <laughs> but the paint, along with being the first witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. So, what do you think, Justine? We cannot ignore the possibility. Well then, Mr. Artist, tell us, please tell us the truth. Did you leave red paint at the crime scene? Or else did you cause the poison gas to go off? The only thing I leave behind is my bond of love with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Larry, no. Uh, please watch, watch what you say. I have a fucking hammer. Seriously? Did you not see me smack the ground? My gavel has already prepared to declare you guilty. Please pay no heed to this man's statements. He does it to every girl. Objection. Hey, hey, you guys. Look at me. I'm, I'm over here still. Ignore my reason just because it's flawless won't do you any good. Mr. Edward, if you've already admitted defeat, you should take your leave. Huh. Even though I don't really have time to deal with you, your ridiculous reasoning. <laughs> All right, fine. Time to curb stomp this little shit. Let's do it. Yes, but it's also caused by the other chemical, you ding dong. <laughs> oh my God, am I really dealing with this right now? Mr. DePest, your logic is more akin to a shooting star than a shining star. <laughs> it shines the best like a shooting star, right? Right. Ah, it may shine brightly for a brief moment, but then it burns itself out. The poison gas originated from inside the glass case for the Pisces sculpture of the... Exactly, so that's where the artist set off the gas, right? He used the normalium in his red paint. As your senior, let me give you one piece of advice. Listen to the explanations of others. The poison gas was caused by mixing both normalium and fatalium together. Normalium contained in the red paint is not enough by itself. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I thought I heard that normalium caused the fatality. Huh. Don't tell me you just misheard the forensics report. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> to darn it, <laughs> I messed him again. By the time Larry discovered the victim, the room was already filled with poison gas. It's time for you to realize how incapable you really are. <laughs> you are truly the most inculpable, capable follow -up. Oh, damn it, you got me saying it now. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by incapable? You tried to use that word earlier, and you still don't know what it means? <laughs> he means to say you are lacking in ability. Incidentally, inculpable has a completely different meaning. I, I get it. You're making fun of me again, aren't you? <laughs> I am merely saying you suck! You are incapable in your investigation. Overruled! Before you insult Sebastian, I still have some doubts about, you, about your own statement. What kind of doubts? For all we know, Mr. Artist, May have could have simply entered the altar palace at an earlier time. That's. Moreover, do you have evidence that the red paint is unrelated to the case? The most important thing now is that is not the red paint, the red normalium and the white fatalium. Exactly how were these two substances mixed? I believe that is our main concern. Naturally, 
it was Sebastian's job to investigate that. Were it not for your interference, we would have found that out by now. I never intended to interfere, you fuckers. Go on the contrary, I'd like to cooperate. In fact, I've been doing all the fucking work since you got here. Don't tell me you're going to say you know the cause of the poison gas. How the poison gas started, I have something that may shed some light on this matter. Sebastian, do not, do not fall for his bluff. Come now, it's fine, really. Let's hear what, what he comes up with. If you say so, Sebastian. Oh, you about to get owned again, son. Come on, show us, show us! How did the poison gas start? Uh, from the sketch here? Yeah. Surely you're not saying that this was the cause of poison gas. Huh, it seems even you're, you've noticed it. Duh, it really stands out. Those red tears that Larry saw were undoubtedly normalium. Huh, wait a second. If those were chemicals, does that mean a ghost set off the poison gas? <laughs> I don't have time to play along with him. <laughs> yes, a ghost! Booga, booga, booga. Ah, oh my god! The red tears normalium could not have trig triggered the poison gas by itself. The red liquid was mixed inside the case to create the poison gas. Uh, what? Just where do you see the evidence of the point the chemicals were mixed? That can also be seen in this sketch. Here is the evidence. Show the ev uh, evidence that the two chemicals were mixed. Uh, down here. It's pink. A pink liquid can be flo that seen flowing out from under the, the case of the Pisces sculpture. This is proof that the two chemicals were mixed. H hold on a second. I, I, I still don't get it. How does this show that normalium and fatalium were mixed? I just, just, it doesn't make any sense at all. You're so stupid. You're so stupid, Edgeworth. We have a self-proclaimed artist here. I'll let him explain. Larry? Actually, I don't know either, dude. Larry, you fan fancy yourself an artist, so you should know about mixing paint, right? What do you what do you do add to red to red to make paint? Don't take me for a fool, Edgy! I'll have you know I graduated from middle school, dude! You add white to me to red to make pink! It's common knowledge, dude! Well technically, there's rose pink, baby pink, and several others, but that's enough, Larry. Shut up now. Now do you understand, Mr. DeBest? Ah, uh, that's how it is. Oh my god. I see, so the semen mixed with the blood to make a pink color. <laughs> it all makes sense now. What? No! What? what? By mixing red mermalium and white fatalium, you get a pink liquid. Yes, exactly. Took him long enough. <laughs> hmm, I see. Hmm. Looks like Mr. Best finally gets it. Overruled! Oh God, now for the real challenge, you. Prosecutor Edgeworth, you've merely presented one possibility. Do we really know if the, col if the color was the result of two chemicals mixed together? Furthermore, the sketch was drawn by the suspect. I cannot put much faith into it. I, I just made what I saw. How can that be lighted? Mr. Artist, I did not permit you to speak. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so cold, but that's part of a charm, dude. Oh my God, you're gonna be dead by the end of this, Larry. Of course, I intend to bring the truth to light immediately. It would not be wise to jeopardize your position even further. Aren't you going to answer my question from before? How do you know that Mr. Artist did not enter the Autumn Park Palace? If you cannot prove this, there is no room for, your, uh, for you to argue any further. Hey, can we find that out if we talk to the victim, pal? The victim, Dan Gustavia, remains unconscious in critical condition. Ah, that's right. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally, actually, can actually see what you were doing there. You really are just smashing it around. Well, then Sebastian will be investigating the crime scene now. All of you, please vacate the premises. No, you vacate my premises. Who said that? Is that me, dude? If you were to take a stand in court, you'd cause a lot of trouble for the, pre the presiding judge. Is there something you would like to say? Mr. Artist. Hold your horses, Miss Cool Beauty! My name is Justine Courtney. Please don't address me by such a strange title. Oh, you finally told me your name! Pleased to meet you, Justine! Uh, oh boy, uh, I can tell I'm gonna have fun with you. I'm Larice Dunham, but you can call me Larice! <laughs> Mr. Artist, please get to the point. I just remember something I haven't had a chance to say yet. When I first got to this room, it was locked, so I couldn't go in! But then, that old dude just suddenly fell through the door and was like, blah, blah. 
You will appear that the palace rooms can be locked from the inside. But just because you say so, would say it was so doesn't mean the door was locked. Without proof, your hate your statement holds no value. Objection. Objection. Well, that's me. Well, why not let Uncle Ray prove it for me? What? After all, we can confirm the room was locked too. Right, Miles? Yes, I remember remembers well. I s you said it to me earlier. Hmm. That the Winter Palace should be. Ah, it's locked up. That's odd. They've they've already opened up the muse opened the museum. Until the gas out gas outbreak, no one could have entered this room. Perhaps the suspect entered the room with the victim during the gas outbreak. As you can see, this man did not inhale any of the gas. If you examine his belongings, you'll find he wasn't carrying a gas mask either. Is that so? Well then, I have no choice but to agree. That was easier than I expected. Yeah! Anyway, anyway, I presume this clears up any suspicions surrounding Larry. It seemed Mr. DeBest's logic was off once again. <laughs> not exactly. I just didn't have enough information, that's all. Alright, it wasn't my fault! Therefore, my reasoning was just before it's time. Sure is a grand way of saying that things didn't work out for him. In that case, there is one more suspect who has yet to take the stand. Mr. Artist, you are free to go. Oh, sweet dude. Can I finally let not it show up anymore? Huh, but I want to talk talk to you a little more bit, Justy. No. <laughs> Overruled. Indubitably. Your cold demeanor leaves me never surprised all the more. Uh, this other suspect is... A pharmacist by the name of Delicia Scones. Oh, damn it, not her again. Not the Jeff Barth Marshall mellow lady. Would it, be, it would have been difficult for this artist to obtain the fatalian from Megaton, Megatoxin X, but a pharmacist may have knowledge of how to do that. Okay, now that I can buy. The court will now take a ten minute recess. Sebastian, it would be best if we brought her in quickly. Pess, if we brought her in quickly. <laughs> oh my god, sounds good. Leave it to me. As I'm literally the best at doing that. <laughs> okay, okay, you need to, you need to shh. Sh hey, Flatfoot, keep up the investigation. Oh, god, got it. I don't want to be your psychic pal! Don't tell me. Judge Corney suspected her from the very beginning. So Mr. DeBest's logic wasn't any help at all. Judge Courtney, just what is she thinking? You used that to extract information from us, maybe? Damn! Oh, to be continued! Seriously, fuck Larry. I hope that's the last we see of him in this case. I hope he's dead after that. <laughs> Uh, or this, no, last, uh, uh, last we see him in this game, all right? Not just this case, but this fucking game. I swear to God, if he comes back as a Steel Samurai or some other random ass dude. <laughs> I don't know, she's like, she like works everywhere, doesn't he? He is, is ever all times. I feel like somebody in the, like the staff just really loved Larry with, to the, the, the bottom of their heart, you know? They're like, it's like, we gotta bring him back again, guys. And everyone, the, everybody worked there was like, Fuck, no, we've done it the past five fucking games. All right, I'm sick of Larry. He's like, oh, come on, guys, please, please. He's someone for some reason says exactly like the best. He's like, he's the best character. <laughs> Damn it, why? Why do you have to be a level higher than I am? Fuck. <laughs> That's right, I'm actually not asking. I'm telling you, we're going to do this. No. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a Peaky Penguin. Bore the SLP where the days are always sunny, the vids are always funny, and the Larrys are always buttsy. Fuck Larry. I hope he fucking dies. Anyway, as always, guys, till next time, stay classy. Mm-hmm.